you do if you do your sales the way everyone else does, you have a hundred percent probability of failure. I'm a demotivational mm. speaker today. You cannot call up people and sound and use the same script, the same words, the same banter. Hi, Vanessa, could I have a minute of your time today? No, take me off your list. Goodbye. Go away. Click. You're dead. You can't. Hi. Yeah. I'm Hi, I'm hi, I'm just reaching out to you today to talk about your credit card services. Are you haven't you been waiting with bated breath to hear me? Boom, dead. You cannot <laughs> you've got to use something that is our theme today is called pattern interrupts. The first thing you've got to do is sound completely different from your competition. If you're doing the same thing that everybody else is doing and reading the same scripts, you are you are guaranteed to fail a hundred percent. Question for the group: Why do why do we do some? Why do we do something that we know will give us a hundred percent failure? Why are we doing the same exact thing? We know we'll get rejected. We know they won't call us back. We know they'll be snippy to us. Why are we doing something where the failure rate is a hundred percent? I don't care how much money you spend on marketing, how many VAs you have how much special technology you're using. If the wrong words at the wrong time will guarantee your financial failure. So why are we, mm. do, why do we do this stuff? Because yeah, we don't, because most people, oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead, Asad, you're on. Uh, real quick, because most people just don't, I, I didn't know any better. I mean, a year ago, I didn't even know you existed. Heck, six months ago, I didn't even know Claude Diamond existed. So a lot of people do it because that's just all they know. If you touch a hot stove without a, what do you call it, a mitt on it, an oven mitt, and you burn your hand, did you learn a lesson? Absolutely. Are you, what are you going to do next time? You're going to put on the oven mitt, right, or whatever. You've learned. But we, what is it about sales? We don't learn. We keep doing the same repetitious. Repet, I can't say repetitious. Because uh, people think it's a numbers game. But it's not, but it's a numbers game with 100%, almost 100% failure rate. Why do something that we're guaranteed to fail with? We're insane and it's comfortable. We're insane and, oh, explain that, <laughs> Bailey. You say, yeah, definition of insanity like is the same thing over and over and expecting different results. Right. So, so, is, is, so are, we, are we all insane? But comfortability. Are we, do, are we all insane? Keep that, a numbers game. I. I've always heard that numbers game and it makes my blood pressure go up now. It's a numbers, I've, you know, I used to hear motivational speakers, okay? And they all, you know, they all say the same thing. Knock on a hundred doors and if a hundred people say no, knock on another hundred, walk into the sun. Earl, Earl Nightingale. Earl Nightingale and everything. Uh, and with all due my respect. My dad used to listen to that stuff. He was an insurance man. I love that stuff. It gave me goosebumps. But let's talk reality here. Does it work? Knocking on doors all day long, saying something that gets the door, the releases the hounds, okay? Gets rejection. Does it work? It doesn't work. So let's people don't have People don't have a system to follow. They don't get the right training. They listen to the wrong people and, and they fall back into the trap of scripts. I love motivation. I love listening to Earl Nightingale or- um, It's a good place to start. It's a good place to start. I love listening. We were talking earlier. I listen to a little music, music I love. I get up a little and I get to that phone, make a few phone calls, but the difference is to sound different. <clears throat> Say things that are totally unexpected. And that's kind of our theme today. This was a long intro, but it, this is an important topic today. This is about pattern interrupts of uh, saying different words. We need to get, how do we get, oh, let me define a pattern interrupt. Um, it's, a, it's a technique to change a particular thought, behavior, environment, situation, and regain control. To a pattern interrupt is a way to shake things up. Okay, I want you today, I want you to shake things up. I want you to say diff something different that you've never said, that maybe you've never said before in opening a phone call. How important, I wanna hear you guys openers. What's some openers, give me some openers that you have. How about some guts openers? We've got one, what's the, what's the one the amateur salesperson will say? Give me some, 
give me some boring oh traditional openers that'll get a hundred percent rejection hey this is phil from extravagant properties uh you know i i, I just wanted to call you to see if uh you know if, if you're willing to sell your property uh within the next uh week or so or something like that just something that everybody says Oh, I'm, I'm busy right now. Call me another time. Give me another one. Somebody else. Oh, here's one. I'll throw one in. Hi, Mr. F Mr. Finote, can I have a minute of your time? Yeah, that too. Oh, what's the answer? What what happens with closed-ended questions? No, no, I'm really busy. No, closed-ended questions are going to shut you down so fast. You know. See, hey, hey, Mr. Mr. Cash Offer, how's your day going today? Going terrible. My dog died, and uh, <laughs> <laughs> don't set yourself up for failure. Give me some more. Oh, give me a give me a few more amateur openers. Who's got uh, it? This is Chris Scott calling with the real estate company, uh, and I just wanted to know if you were interested in selling your property today. Yeah, you're like, a, what are you, a realtor or one of those bottom feeding investors? Yeah, take me off your list. Absolutely. <laughs> Go ahead, Mario. Give me an opener. Give me a bad oh, opener. <laughs> give me a bad yeah, opener. I'm just calling to find out if you. Hi, hi this is Mario with GoFundMe. I, I wanted to know if you guys are interested in selling your house. I saw, I see that you need some work done. And then they, they usually. <laughs> 